Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 74 Extreme Edition Safe Stay at List. This is, uh, obviously you'll tell my health is at 3. This is the, um, same recording session as the last set, um, segment. I did a thing I wasn't supposed to do. That's not the first star. Gotta get them in order. I remember that. So yeah, I kind of just showed how to get a star, but I didn't really get it, so you know, shut up. And that never happened. Ever. So deep within the cauldron. Backwards. Forwards. Side to side. Yeah, that's that star in a nutshell. A lot of the stars in this level are actually pretty quick if you can get them down easily. I know in 50 star we actually get... I say we as in me and Fran, but we actually get um, all five of the normal stars. Like, like the non-coin collecting stars um, in this, the 50 star speedrun. Which means that they're all pretty fast. So, yeah. I think every star in 50 star is at least under 40 seconds long. And a lot of them are a lot shorter than that, even. So yeah, you're, you're intended to go on top of the Womps, but like... Er, Thwomps. I always get the name mixed up. But you're, you're intended to go on the Thwomps or the blue contrast blocks, but like, it's... No one does that, ever. Wait, what? Balls of steel? That is this one, why? Well, I technically already showed how to get it, so I didn't get it out of order. Technically. By that I mean I totally cheated and you should all kill me now, because I'm dumb. Whatever. I mean, it's not a super huge deal, I'm not gonna stress over it too much. And I've already saved, so it's not like I can go back and re-record this. I just, I really won't care. And I hope no one else will care. It's not like anyone was taking it super serious. I mean, it could have ended in the last segment anyway. Like me doing stars in order, because I didn't even know the ones in the last segment. Anyway, that's a cool double jump strat that gets you over to here. You can do it with um, taking no bounces, but you have to be really precise. I knew that I wasn't going to get it there, so I just held back at the last second. You can't take two health, or two damage. Or two lava bounces. You can't take two lava bounces. <laughs> 69. <laughs> yeah, but um, you want to take one lava bounce to get to the switch, and then that one from the wall kick dive. But yeah, um, that's what you want to do. Dance with the heavos. This is a star that you can totally cheat because you're not supposed to do these wall kicks, but they totally work. I did not want to land on that platform, but it works. And there's 70 already. Getting a lot of stars in this game. There's like 90-something before the, um, second Bowser level or something. I keep saying, or something. It's going to be a catchphrase now. No, it's not. That would be stupid. Red Sin. Man, don't you just love that freaking stupid graphics plugin where I can see, like, the top halves of the letters, but not the bottom. I can see it perfectly on the pause screen, but still. It's kind of sad that I don't remember this route super well. I'm supposed to get up there by going for those five coins, but instead I went up on this side, so... Like, you can get up this wall on either side, but I was being stupid. Hello, Firsty. Would've made that without a Firsty. Oh, yeah. I cannot believe I actually locked onto him like that. That was, like, perfect. Alright, um... Triple jump dive to that red coin. That's the most reliable way to get it, in my opinion. Eh. Yeah. 
That coin's a little bit annoying, but not that bad. Screw the blues, I don't need the blues yet. They're not that hard. This is a part that I need to focus on more. This is a cool trick, but semi-difficult to pull off. That can happen a lot! And, oh my god, I didn't die. Wow. Surprised. Surprised at not dying. As obvious, this again is the longest star of the level. Coin collecting generally is the longest star of the level, and by generally, I mean I think it is literally every level. Um, but still, like, this is a lot longer than most other stars. I think I've had every other star quicker than this star has gone on so far, and there's still a lot more left to it. But, um... It's not terribly difficult. There are a few key points that are actually difficult. I should save that for last. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, I'm basically home free if I can get the, um... Blue coins. Like, all of them. And even if I get most of them, I'm still fine. But I'm generally pretty good at getting all of them. So yep, I've got exactly enough coins. If I get these two reds, that'll bring me up to 97. And then from there... Ah! I will get that other three coins from that scuttle bug right there. That'll bring me to 100, and I will collect both the stars, and then end the segment. Which, this is a pretty darn short segment, but it's a short level, so... It's good to have a short segment every once in a while. Seriously, seven minutes? This will be done in, like, eight minutes. This this is cool. Mash that L button until I get it. It's fun. And yeah, the star spawns right over there. Oh god, bad angle. But I still got it. 72. Yeah, less than eight minutes, actually. And that's all for that level, entirely. <laughs> it's a quick level. So yeah, see you guys next time for Melting Ice Crystal Tower. This one will not be nearly as quick.